Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has three scriptures to go along with it. The first is Luke chapter 8, verse 17 in the King James Version Bible. It reads, For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. The second scripture is Second Timothy chapter 4, verses 6 through 8. In the King James Version Bible, it reads, For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. The third scripture is Hebrews chapter 12, verses 25 through 29 in the King James Version Bible. It reads, See that ye refuse not him that speaketh, for if they escaped not who refused him that spake on earth, much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven whose voice then shook the earth. But now he hath promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. And this word, yet once more, signifieth the removing of those things that are shaken, as of things that are made, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear, for our God is a consuming fire. Now for the message given on March the 20th, 2022 from the Lord God. Hold fast to my commandments, for the Lord thy God is set to descend upon the earth. Take time daily to pray fast and form a more personal relationship with me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come unto thee with my eyes open. I see all thy sin committed, for it is an abomination unto the Father. Only those who've repented from sin and asked for forgiveness will be deemed worthy to enter into the heavenly kingdom of God. A perpetrator of sin is wicked when sin is done intentionally and with full malice and contempt in thine hearts. I look at the heart, for within the heart I see the soul. The heart shows a multitude of sins. It is on full display. Nothing is hidden from my view. Any secret thing is fully visible, and you will be held accountable for it on your final day of life. Get right with me, my beloveds, for I know all, see all, and judge all acts committed against the laws of the Father. Repent, pray, and read my word. Learn my ways and aspire to live by my principles. This is how you shall receive eternal life in paradise with me and the Heavenly Father. He loves all of his children and wishes none to perish in the lake of fire. Believe on me now, for the time is so very short. 
a calamity of great magnitude is about to befall the planet. It will rock the entire world, for a great shaking will cause the earth to sway violently on its axis. It's due to the ninth planetary system passing through the Milky Way. Some will die, and without preparation, they will be denied unto the Father's house. Be ready, for I come quickly, exclamation point, with undying love, God the Father and Jesus the Savior. So, a quick message, and it was an urgent message that I felt within my spirit from the Lord God. It's like he's telling you, you better get ready because here I come. He says here, hold fast to my commandments for the Lord thy God is set to descend upon the earth. Make sure you take time daily to pray, it says here, fast and form a more personal relationship with me, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, when it comes to fasting, I know it's hard for me to fast because I have a lot of issues with my digestive tract. So usually I'll just give up something that I like to eat and eat just regularly or normally. Or sometimes I'll skip lunch, just eat breakfast and dinner. You don't have to go like a full-blown uh, you know, water juice fast if, you know, if you, if your body can't withstand that. But when you fast, you do come closer to the Lord, especially when you spend time with him daily in your prayer closet. It says here also that I come unto thee with my eyes open. I see all thy sin committed for it is an abomination unto the father. So he wants you to ask for forgiveness of sins and then he talks about the kind of like the difference between people who are really trying to obey God and the ones who the, who are the wicked. It says here a per perpetrator of sin is a is wicked when sin is done intentionally and with full malice and contempt in thine hearts. And he sees your heart. He can see what kind of heart you have and. It shows, it says it shows a multitude of sins and nothing is hidden from his view that he wants you to get ready and get right with him because he sees all and judges all acts committed against the laws of the Father. Repent, pray, and read my word. That's the best way, I think, to get ready is to read his word and get to know who he is. I would, if you haven't picked up a Bible in a while, go directly to the New Testament and read the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John to see how he lived his life here on the earth. And it says here, learn my ways and aspire to live by my principles. This is how you shall receive eternal life in paradise with me and the Father. And then at the end, he gives a warning of what's coming here. Calamity of great magnitude is about to befall the planet. It will rock the entire world, for a great shaking will cause the earth to sway violently on its axis. It's due to that ninth planetary system passing through the Milky Way. So be ready, because any day and any type of a situation could happen. We're living in the final days. There's so much going on. Any day could be your final day. So make sure you stay prayed up, fast if you can, and read his word and form a much more personal relationship with him because he is coming back very, very soon. And if you enjoyed this message, please give it a thumbs up and definitely share it to all of your social media platforms. If you're not a subscriber, I would love to have you as a new subscriber. I pray for all of my subscribers and viewers daily for Jesus' blood protection of your life from any harm from the enemy. And if, if this message speaks to you directly, please leave a comment down in the comments section. And also, if you have any questions and or prayer requests, you can send them off to my email address, which is listed down below in the description box. And we are living in the final days. We're not going back to normal. And please heed the word, and may God bless you.